welcome back to The Six Sexy. I'm filming in the spare room at the moment, so please excuse that there's absolutely nothing in this room except for this baby. <laughs> Today I want to talk about positivity and what it means to be positive. So the other day I was um, doing some research for an essay on the well-being of older adults and the elderly. And I came across this really interesting study that talked about um, the importance of having a gratitude journal. And I know like a lot of um, spiritual um, YouTubers do discuss this and uh, the power of manifestation and the power of gratitude. But my experience with um, gratitude and journals has been very kind of limited because I haven't known a lot about it. Looking into this study and it showed that um, people that recorded, so they had two lots of different people. The first group of people were asked to record in a journal their daily experiences. Whether they were good or bad, it didn't matter. The second group of people were asked to record um, what they were grateful for. And they found over a six week period that the people that um, recorded what they were grateful for experienced elevated happiness and elevated moods and more positivity. So the study basically showed that the more you are grateful, the more you feel better, essentially. But there's a catch to it. And the catch is not to write in the journal every day, but it's most effective when you write in a journal three times a week. Now, I don't know why this is, the efficacy of it, um, but it, I've come to the conclusion that it might have something to do with, um, you know, your brain is obviously wired to think a specific way, and if you do the same thing repetitively enough, it loses its, I don't know, it loses its efficacy, basically. So I feel like if you are grateful every day, but you're only recording that gratitude three times a week, it's going to have most like it's going to work the most. It's got me thinking about my personal experience with positivity and giving thanks and I noticed that I was waking up and not being grateful and it's you know it, got, it made me feel really guilty because I know that I have a lot to be grateful for and that despite my health issues um, I still have a lot in life that I should be happy and thankful about. I have a beautiful home to live in um, you know, I have a very lovely, loving partner, I've got a good job and I'm studying and there's all these positive attributes in my life that I kind of sometimes overlook because I'm looking, comparing myself to other people and I know that is a trap that we all kind of fall into at some point in our lives. Um, but it made me think when I was getting ready for hospital yesterday, um, I took a moment and even in hospital, so okay. I'll start with what happened yesterday. So yesterday was hospital day and once a month when I go into hospital I always feel really kind of cheated because I feel like I only get two days off a week just like everyone else but most people get to spend their weekends doing something that they want to do and I feel like because of my health concerns I don't get, I'm not afforded those same privileges so once a month, whether I want to, I have to go to hospital, otherwise I can't live a normal life. So yesterday, I kind of woke up with a different attitude and I felt really positive about the day. I was like, right, today I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna get ready for hospital, I'm gonna go and have lunch before hospital and just get myself into a really nice, happy, positive mood. When I got to hospital, I was really pleasant, I was talking to the nurses and just being in a nice mood. I had my music playing. And I remember thinking and feeling, before the needles went in, I remember the nurse sterilised my arm, because you have to sterilise it before putting the needle in, obviously. And I had this thought, and I thought, I'm so grateful to live in a country where the healthcare is so, um, you know, where the people take care of you, and you know that you're in good hands. And that, you know, I know that the needle that's going into my vein is sterile, I know that I'm not going to have any risk of infection and I'm just grateful for that process. Now that is really like kind of a weird thing to be grateful about because it's not a nice experience but you know I just took a moment to be grateful for the simple things that perhaps other people don't have um, and it may you know like it didn't make the procedure any easier it was still painful and it still hurt but I remember feeling a lot more 
more happy and a lot more grounded in myself rather than being super emotional and super upset about everything, which is kind of my default emotion when I'm in hospital. Um, and I remember thinking it's so important that no matter what we're doing in life, whether we're going to work in the morning or um, you know, whether we're, we're in hospital or we're in pain or we're having a wonderful time with our friends, it's super important to be grateful for the little things. And it could be something so small. Like, you know, I woke up yesterday and I was like, I'm so grateful that I was able to wake up today and put my makeup on. Or I'm so grateful that I have money to be able to put petrol in my car to do the things that I need to do in my life. Instead of thinking, oh, well, I don't have the latest Audi and, oh, well, like I'm not a CEO of my own business. Like, just be grateful for the small things that come into your life and you'll realise that those small things are actually quite big things and they grow into big things and flourish into big things. Because I remember like, especially when I was younger, I kind of always visualised the kind of life that I wanted and I wanted the house and the hills and everything and I've got that now and it's like, my mind is like, okay, what next? What can I have next? And it's like, no, just stop a minute, stop, take a breath, be grateful. Be positive for this moment and be present in this moment. So I just wanted to jump on and have a little chat about my experience with positivity. I've also got a gratitude journal, um, which I find really effective at like just at the end of the day or even at the beginning, but I often find at the beginning, at the end of the day is better for me to just sit down and write three things that I'm grateful for that have either happened that day or just I'm grateful for in general. Um, but since reading about that study, I now probably will only do that three times a week just to, to make it more effective and not make it too much of a routine. Like I never want to feel like I sit down and I'm like, oh, what have I got to be grateful for? Better write it down. Like just, you know, make it a beautiful experience. So thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of The Six Sexy. As always, if you have any questions for me, please let me know and I will do a video in response to them. All my love.